Welcome back to the channel everybody. We're about to go over a Type 3 fire truck from when I met up with my buddies when I crossed through Reno, Nevada. Let's hit it. What's up, everybody? So I'm over here in, uh, where are we at, bro? In Reno? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we stopped in Reno and uh, Oracle Fire District here. My buddy Joel's here. He's going to give us a quick walk around of this bad rider. All right, dude. So what is it? This is a uh, Oracle Fire District Type 3. Yeah, Type 3 engine, uh, wildland, uh, kind of intention to pur main purpose for it is urban interface. So dealing with mostly with structures in a wildland fire situation kind of for structure protection um they can also support hand crews hand lines um, things like that uh, it's got a 750 gallon tank 750 gpm pump um but yeah it's a these trucks are cool because they're kind of a jack of all trades four wheel drive uh can get in some pretty tight spaces and you can see it's pretty tall yeah i was gonna ask if it's lifted uh I'm sure it is, but I know it was purchased that way. Beyond that, I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Um, this thing's dope, though. Yeah, it's a nice truck. Look at the size of the differential on that thing, dude. You're, you're a Jeep, dude. You still have your Jeep? Oh, yeah. Dude, like, could you imagine the differential that size on our Jeep? <laughs> no, it wouldn't move. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Not enough power. It's got a winch on it. So you got a, is there, a, you got a front hose line too, wildland and structure? Yeah, so this was the only way we could figure out how to fit 100 feet of inch and three quarter on here, but it works out pretty well. Um, and that's one inch wildland hose over there? Uh, yeah, we got uh, or, one inch and an inch and a half. Oh, okay. So then we've got this gated Y hooked up. So we can basically, however much hose we need, whatever length we need, we can just quick connect it. Take off with it. Some spanners up here. It's a good looking truck, man. Thanks. We like it. We're about to get a uh, tactical water tender with the same chassis. Oh, really? Yeah. Sweet. So that's being built. Should be. It might be done by the time we get back from Northern California. So we just got regular crew space up here. Yeah, it's it's a mess, but oh, you know it, they got the key. Yeah. They locked it up. It's all um, good. And then compartments. Compartments are probably all locked up with. And they got the keys. <laughs> um, yeah. I was like, they better be, huh? <laughs> yeah, they did lock everything up. That's cool. But what do you guys just carry? Like up here, you just got like tools, like yeah, we got cribbing. Um, when we're not on wildland, we have a full set of extrication equipment on here. Um, let's see, I mean, this thing's set up for again, it's a jack of all trades. We can do extrication. We can fight structure fires with it. Um, Again, when we're not on wildland, we carry our SCBAs on here as well. Oh, nice. Spare bottles. You guys just have empty right now, so they don't... We, we have camping stools now. Nice. That's even better. Yeah, perfect for the tubes. <laughs> yep. Pump panel. Uh, that's a hose bed up there with the yeah, little cover. Yeah, we have cross lights up there for, you know, any, any kind of fire, structure fire, generally. 150 in those and 200 or something? Uh, or? 150 in front and there's a 200 in the back. Nice. Little chalks down there. So we got two and a half inch, three inch hose, um, primarily for supply line, can be used as a tack line as well. We got some of our gear, wildland gear up there. Nice. Yeah, I saw that up there hiding. Again, for structure stuff, we got a small attic ladder here, pike pole. Lock those ones up too. We do have an extension ladder in here and a couple more hand tools. Normally, we have um, 700 feet of four inch supply line in there. We take it all out on wild land just so we can fit bags and gear. And, and it's lighter too, man. Yeah. That's a lot of weight. Yeah. Um, other than that. Sweet, man. What year is it? Do you know? Uh, 09. 09. This thing's sweet though, man. I miss all the cool rigs and stuff and hanging out, taking them out. Let's peek inside real quick. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Got all their stuff in here ready to rock. It's dope, dude. I love these trucks. So, down here, 
one of our two engineer compartments, just extra appliances, fittings. We need to draft from a water source, lake, river, or anything like that. Hose clamps, you know, just general tools and appliances. So normally we have cribbing and stuff for MBAs, extrication, stuff like that, but when we go on wildlands, we stock this all with hose packs, wildland hose packs. Oh, nice. Are those the Danners? Those things are sick. Oh, the, I love yeah, those the new things. ones, I, I don't have any yet. But Dude. I'm gonna get some. I heard they're comfortable. Extra they're... appliances, extra hose, supply line. Right on. Suction and extension ladders? Yeah, extension ladder, extra pike poles, hard suction. Again, for drafting if we have a different water source. Nice. Hydrant key spanners, more here, more storage as well. But we have all the tools, uh, changing tires. You know anything we might need, fixing the truck on the road. Um, oh, okay. Medical bags, in case of any kind of medical emergencies. Um, that's about it. It's kind of the dirty down the dirty cabinet. Yeah. Up here, hand tools, bolt cutters, sledge, axes, halligan, and then chainsaw for wildland purposes. Yeah. It's got the little bar on it. <laughs> yeah. That's about it. Yeah, sweet man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So that was good of them to do a quick walk around and show us some of their stuff. I appreciate it. As always, thanks guys for following Happy's Trails. Yeah, buddy. See this thing beast take off. And looky, looky, somebody else rolled up. I passed them on the road. That was part of that caravan. <laughs>